Hello friends, welcome back and if you are new to our channel, thank you for stopping by. Today I have an interesting crochet pattern to share with you for which we need stitches in the multiple of 11 plus 1. So I am going to make 11 into 333 plus 1, 34 chain. So let us begin with a slip knot. Now once the slip knot is done, I am going to make 34 chain. It's better we count the chains as we work along. That way it will be easy for us uh, and we can avoid making mistakes. Now this is a beautiful pattern and we will be using two different kinds of yarn. So let us first finish our chains and for this particular sample I'll be making 34 chain so here my 34 chains are all ready now let us begin please watch carefully now straight away I am going to go into the second chain. I am doing a yarn over and I am going into the second chain and I will be working one half double crochet. That is the first one. This is the second half double crochet. And this is the third half double crochet. And third half double crochet we will not complete it totally because I will be introducing my new yarn so here a slip knot is done after that I am going to pull my new yarn through all the three uh, stitches and so my new yarn is introduced and now I'll slightly pull my white yarn so that it is slightly tightened and now I am going to work with my new red yarn. So here I'll be working one half double crochet as I had done earlier. So that's my first half double crochet but here one crucial step that is to be remembered is we must carry the white yarn along that is we are just going to clip it as we work along. So this is my second double crochet. Now I am going to do the third one but I am not going to complete it totally. So here I am starting off with my third half double crochet but I will not complete it. Now once I have three uh, stitches I am going to pull my white yarn through it. So my white yarn becomes the working yarn now because I need to work three stitches with my white yarn. Now let's work the first chain with one half double crochet and here we must again remember to pull the other uh, yarn along as we work. So here I am carrying my red yarn along as I am working with the white one. So here I am working the third uh, half double crochet but it has to be half done once I have three stitches I am going to introduce my red yarn and pull through so my red yarn becomes my working yarn so this is the process that is to be followed it is simple but initially we have to be a bit careful now one thing that is to be remembered while working such patterns with different yarns is that we must carry along the other yarns which are not being used uh, so here I am working my third half double crochet but I am not going to complete it. I am going to change the yarn here. The white yarn is pulled through all the three stitches so the white yarn becomes my working yarn. Now again a yarn over I am going to work that's my first half double crochet working my second half double crochet clipping the red yarn along. Now this is my half third half double crochet but I am not going to complete it now I'm going to pass my uh, red yarn through all the three stitches so that the red yarn becomes my working yarn 
So here I am going to work my first half double crochet with the red yarn. Yarn over pull through again yarn over the crochet goes into the chain and clipping the white yarn yarn over pull through all yes that's the second now I'll work my third half double crochet but I am not going to complete it once I have three stitches I will introduce my white yarn and pull through all the stitches so that the white yarn becomes my working yarn so now yarn over and I am going to work three stitches three half double crochets with the white yarn but we must remember to carry along the other yarn that is very simple we are just going to clip it uh, behind the work as we work along so this is how it is to be done yarn over pull through all so that the new yarn becomes my working yarn here I have started again working with my red yarn, yarn over pull through all, yarn over, the hook goes into the chain, pull up a loop, yarn over pull through all three stitches. Now yarn over, this is the third half double crochet, the hook is passed through the chain, I pull up a loop. Now I am going to change the color of the yarn, so I am going to introduce my white one, so yarn over pull through all the stitches, so my white yarn becomes my working yarn it is not very tough it is a simple one and you can use this pattern to make different uh, projects like coasters cushion covers uh, you can also use it to make bags so that's my uh, third half double crochet in white now i'm going to introduce my red yarn yarn over pull through all the stitches so the white red yarn becomes my working yarn so here I am nearing the finishing point of this particular row first half double crochet is done this is my second half double crochet yarn over this is my third half double crochet which is half done now I'll take, uh, take the sorry white yarn yarn over pull through all the three stitches so the white yarn becomes my working yarn now again yarn over and then I am going to work three number of half double crochet as the first one this is the second half double crochet and again yarn over and this is the third one which is going to be half done I am not going to complete it let me show you how it is to be done now yarn over pull through all the stitches so my first row is complete I turn my work and I am going to chain two that is because I am working half double crochet one and two now yarn over and I am going to work one half double crochet into the second chain and we must remember to clip the red yarn along so that's my second half double crochet now yarn over this is my third half double crochet which will be half done because i need to change my yarn so here i changed my yarn color to red and now i'm working my first half double crochet yarn over working the second half double crochet but we must remember to clip the second yarn along now again yarn over and i'm working my third half double crochet which will be half done because i am going to change my yarn and so here my yarn is changed and i will continue working and i'll catch up with you after i have worked a few batches Here I am working with my red yarn, my first half double crochet is done, this is the second half double crochet, yarn over and this is the third half double crochet which I will not complete because I will be introducing the second yarn that is the white yarn and I am going to pull through all the stitches so the white yarn becomes my working yarn, 
now yarn over I am going to work my first half double crochet again yarn over working my second half double crochet so this is how it looks it is a beautiful pattern you get a checkered pattern very uncommon so let us continue in the similar fashion and this is my third half double crochet which I'm not going to complete because I'm going to change my yarn to red so I'm introducing it yarn over pull through all the three stitches so the red yarn becomes my working yarn now again yarn over and I am going to work my first half double crochet and I am going to clip my white yarn along as I work again yarn over working my second half double crochet again yarn over working my third half double crochet which will be half done now I am going to complete the stitch with the help of the white yarn as I need to change my yarn color as well now yarn over I am going to work my first half double crochet in white working my second half double crochet in white and I'm clipping the red yarn along as I go and here I am working the third half double crochet in white but it is to be half done now I am going to change the yarn to red yarn so yarn over pull through all the three stitches and now this batch I am going to work with the red yarn so three half double crushes are to be done that's the first the second and the third which is incomplete because I need to change my yarn so let's work in the similar fashion till I reach the end uh, of the row the sequence is same working two half double crochets and then the third one is half done half double crochet and then we change the yarn color So here I am working my half double crochets in red that's the third one which I will do an incomplete one because I need to change my yarn color to white and now I am going to work my first half double crochet working my second half double crochet So this is my third half double crochet which is half done now with the red yarn yarn over pull through all the stitches once that is done I am going to chain two which counts as one half double crochet and turn my work so this is the first row that is complete now moving on to the second chain space I am going to work one half double crochet with the red yarn but we must remember to clip the white yarn as we work along again yarn over working the third half double crochet which is half done now I'm going to introduce the white yarn yarn over pull through all the stitches now with the white yarn I am going to work two number of half double crochet that's the first one yarn over and this is the second half double crochet with the white yarn now you must have noticed that above the red uh, stitches I am working with the white yarn so that we get that checkered effect now with the red yarn I am going to work one half double crochet on top of the white one this is the second half double crochet this is the third one which is to be half done because I'm going to change the yarn color yarn over pull through all the stitches so the sequence is very simple after working two rows we change the color that is on top of the red yarn we are going to work with the white yarn and on top of the white yarn we are going to work with the red yarn so that we get that checks that beautiful check 
and this pattern can be used for different projects as I told you earlier. So here I'm working with the red yarn, yarn over. I'm working my first half double crochet. Then again yarn over, working my second half double crochet. Again yarn over, working my third half double crochet which is half done because I need to change my yarn color to white. Yarn over, pull through all the stitches. But we must remember whenever working with any colored yarn, we must carry the second color along we must not leave it behind so this is how the pattern looks I have completed a few rows see how nice and beautiful it is looking so you can very well understand how beautiful this pattern is going to look here I am about to change the color yarn color yarn over pull through all the stitches now I am going to work the second row on top of the red stitches with the red yarn. To and fro we need to work. After that we change the yarn color. That is on top of the red squares we are going to work white squares and on top of the white squares we are going to work the red squares. So here I am about to reach the finishing point again here I'm working the uh, squares with the white yarn that's my third half double crochet which is half done I need to change the yarn color to red here it is changed after that yarn over working my first half double crochet now I'll be working my second half double crochet now yarn over I will be working the third half double crochet. You have to be a little careful while working the last half double crochet because it is a little bit difficult to locate. After that I am going to change my yarn color because we have already worked two rows with red. So here I am introducing my white yarn. After that I am going to chain two and then turn my work. So this is how it looks. So let me remind you once again this is a beautiful checkered pattern which can be worked with two different colors and for this particular project we need stitches for this pattern actually we need stitches in the multiple of 11 plus 1 and for this particular sample I have taken 11 into 333 plus 1 34 stitches now you have to take stitches or chains according to the uh, according to your requirement it's a beautiful pattern which can be used for making bags uh, cushion covers purses etc etc so it is very simple this is how we work our checkered pattern so this is how it looks see it's a beautiful one I hope you all are liking it. I am going to continue working till the end. So you can also start off with your pattern. Wait, I'm going to show you once I reach the end. So here I have finally completed. I am not going to increase it any further here I'm going to snip off the yarn and then we are going to tug loose ends with the help of the tapestry needle you can use this pattern for making beautiful coasters as well so thank you friends for staying till the end if you have liked the video do give a thumbs up share it with your friends and family members and if you are new to our channel, do consider subscribing and stay tuned for more of interesting videos. So, till we meet again, it is bye-bye from all of us here at Plants, Crush It, Cooking and more.